Greetings, it is day two and we are alive here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And today our schedule is to go to the Petronas Towers. Look how tall this building is. Oh my god. Anyway, our schedule is to go to Petronas Towers and that's what we're trying to find right now. So that really tall building is our actual destination. That's Petronas Towers. Oh my gosh. I feel so small. So I just purchased this drink at 7-Eleven. It smells nice, so I'm gonna try it. It's like a cold coffee cappuccino thing, and I really like it. So where are we now? Where are we now? The Petronas Towers. Yeah, Petronas Towers tours. I'm excited. We made it to the top of Kuala Lumpur. Not the top of Kuala Lumpur, but pretty darn near close. Wow. Everyone's wowing at the site. It's kind of foggy this morning. Ooh. It's kind of foggy this morning, as you can tell. The mountains are kind of blurry. But we are on the 41st floor of so Petron Petronas Towers. This is amazing. One thing I want to talk about in Malaysia is that even in this big giant capital city, it is so green here. And like there's so much foliage and just green things. I don't know, I'm sorry. But they do have a really strong eco-friendly vibe here. And even some sides of the buildings have a greenery on them, so... Plus one to you, Malaysia. Good job. Proud of you. We are now on level 80 something something something. I think 84. Wow. It's a little bit hazy, so you can't see much. But... That's... it's... wow, so high. <laughs> Another angle of the observation deck. Here in the Pe Petronas. I've been saying Petronas, which is like my American accent, but in Malay it's Petronas Tower. That's so high. Oh my gosh. You can't really, see, again, you can't really see much because it's kind of hazy today. But still. So much. So beautiful here. More of the Petronas Tower. They're building another giant tower there. You can kind of see the mountains in the distance. We are on the train here in Kuala Lumpur. And the train here, they have amazing views compared to Korea. Korea, Korean trains, you just see... There's walls protecting the train tracks, so you just see like blank walls sometimes. It's very boring. Only in like countryside areas will you actually see things. But you actually get to see things because the trains in Malaysia are off the ground. They're above ground, but the trains in Korea are flat on the ground. So you can't really see much of the city over there. Hmm. But yes, we did get a new hotel, so everything up. Oh. So everything is good. Everything's fine now. Another principal thing they have here in Malaysia. This is your train ticket. It's a coin. Oh, I'm gonna fall. But anyway, yeah, these are your train tickets here in Malaysia. They are discs. I think that's cool in my opinion. We are here at the monorail station at Bukit Bintang and we're waiting our transfer to the KL Centre monorail station. Almost to the new hotel. This is going to be exciting. Ceilings in this room are so freaking high. Oh my gosh. We made our way to this banana leaf restaurant and we got drinks. Um, this apple, whatever, is very sour. Um, but yeah, here's to eating dinner here in Kuala Lumpur. Trying it for the first time. Good. Now dip it in the soup. Good. Here goes. Here goes nothing. Good. I like it. Good. It's a little spicy though, but that's okay. I'll survive. Okay, so we're going to 
gonna try this tandoori chicken, tandoori chicken together. Um, it looks spicy as heck, but um, here goes nothing. Are you ready? It's not that bad. Except I got a piece of um, club. I'm fat. That's a correct word, fat. But really good. Not, not too spicy. Lisa for giving us the gift of amazing sidewalks. Um, yeah. Yesterday was, this is an awkward angle, I'm sorry, but yesterday was Kuala Lumpur Day. So you'll see all of these flags of the city of Kuala Lumpur, I believe, um, up and about around in the background of my videos. in Burchaya Times Square. So awkward camera angles, I'm sorry. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Good. Uh, so tired. This place is huge. Okay, what I love about Malaysia is that when I speak Chinese, no one freaks out and they just stare at me. That's a good sign because normally when I speak Mal when I speak Chinese, people just like will stare at me or just be like, huh? Or just like, not reciprocate or just like be completely shocked they don't know what to do but here in Malaysia they just look at me and reply and it's amazing because everyone speaks Chinese here thank you Malaysia for your amazing diversity so I'm gonna rat on myself a little bit here so I thought coming to Malaysia it'd be like a conservative Muslim culture and stuff but uh no we're in an open-air market and we're walking by jock straps so that's something you don't see even in Korea we found a Korean restaurant here or like thing here in Damansara we'd be shook yeah we're shook we look... Oh, they're playing K-pop too. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, sorry. <laughs> We're kind of shook. Uh, where are we? Damansara... No, not Damansara. Burjaya. We're in Burjaya. Uh, uh, Burj... something. Sorry, I'm distracted right now. 